And now let's go over to Photoshop so I can show you how to select a specific color. I mentioned this earlier, so we'll just go into Photoshop. I already have it opened up and you'll see that there's a shape here that I've chosen to use as an example so that we can use the eyedrop tool in Photoshop to pick the exact color that we would like to also use in VideoScribe. So I'll go up here to the eyedropper tool and I will bring this down and click on this part of the image here. When I've done that, it's basically captured that exact blue in that exact spot. You can see that right here. So I'm going to double click here and down here, you will see the hex number for that exact color. I'm going to copy that by pushing Command C on a Mac. I'm going to go back into Video Scribe. I'm going to go up to the T here and add text. I'm going to write Start Learning. Now I'm going to go into the Change Text Color here and I'm going to push Command V, which has pasted that hex color that I just eye dropped in Photoshop. I'm going to click the check mark and you'll see here that this text will now come out as the color I chose. Again, as I mentioned before, sometimes clients have logos with specific colors in them. And although you can ask your clients if they can give you the exact colors used in their logos, in some cases they won't be easily able to access that information. So if you use Photoshop, it's really easy to find out the exact colors used by bringing in the logo, picking the eyedropper tool, and then copying the hex number like we've just done. So I'll click check mark. I'm going to bring this font up here and drag it out a little bit. Start learning. Now I'm going to hit this left arrow on the timeline and I'm looking for where it says video scribe. There we go. So I've highlighted that. I'm going to copy and paste and it shows up directly beside the original video scribe text. I'm going to drag that all the way to the end of the timeline and put it at the very end. And remember, even though I dragged in the timeline to the very end, because I'd like it to be drawn after Start Learning is written, I still need to go to that original camera setting on the canvas and grab that copy. So I'm going to hit Fit to Screen here, and that will show me every single element that is on my scribe and you can see here the copy of the text element I'm looking for is right here. So I'm going to drag that over to the final scene and now I'm going to go back on the timeline and I'm going to double click on this element in the final scene here. There we go. Okay. I now can bring this down in size. Now I'm going to go back up to text and I'm going to type in and make and I'm going to go into import fonts. I'd like each line of fonts to be a different style of fonts and a different color of fonts. So I'll choose a simple life, push check mark, let that import into Video Scribe. I'm going to change the color to red here, push check mark, move that over, we'll make it bigger. We'll go back up to the text icon. Let's type in professional, go to the font. Let's click on this, push check mark and import this font in, go into the color, let's make that a nice purple, click check mark, move that over, drag the size up, and we'll go back in and type videos. Click on the green and we will import another font. We'll use a little pot Hit the check mark. 
There we go. So now I'm going to highlight all of this text by hitting the shift key and going over to the first element that I want to lock the camera setting of. And there we go. All of those are locked now. I'm going to move the canvas down. I'll reset that camera position. I'm going to actually move this guy photo over. I forgot to add the word whiteboard, so we'll go back in, whiteboard. Let's choose chalkboard bold. Let's make that text pink, push OK, move that over in the timeline. And you'll see here, it's not there. Where is it? Presumably, because I've put it on the timeline to show up before these last two elements here, it's hidden under one of these elements. So I'm going to double click on it. Okay, so it's indicating to me that it's right there, but this image is in front of it. So what I'm going to do is go down here to this eyeball and hide that image. Now I'm going to click twice on this element that says professional to zoom back out. I'm now going to click on whiteboard and move it over. Okay, I'm going to drag the sizing of that up, bring it down, we'll lock that. I'm going to grab videos, we'll clear and re-lock that, and now click back on the photo element and I will hit the eyeball there again to bring that back up. 